welcome to this example on four principles of simple design let's uh, now write a few pieces of code uh, okay let's say i have a string helper class and i want to write a method swap last two characters what it should do is swap the last two characters of the string what i have is the units for all the tests written uh, just to help me focus just on code so what we are trying to do is now to swap the last two characters of the string. Uh, the first thing is if I start uh, looking at the last two characters of the string, I need the length. So let's get the length. Uh, okay. The first important thing is probably you can try and get this working. Uh, it would be far more useful if you try writing the code for this example and then look at the way we are solving it. So let's see how we would solve it so in the first thing is get the length so str dot length because i need the length to find out the last character so uh, probably the last character i would need to get so last character is uh, str dot caret uh, length or length minus one i think yeah and the second last character would be uh s length minus two that's good but the problem is this would throw me an error if uh, the string is of length more than one Le str dot length uh, greater than two so if it's less than two then i would want to return the str back by itself because if it's one i can return it back as it is and if it's just length one then yeah there is no second character so the result would be the same so that's good so if it's str dot length less than two i can return the string back so otherwise i'll get into the code and uh what i want to return back is actually uh i want to swap the last two characters so first i would want to put the last character uh and then second last character and before that i need to put the string so string uh, str without last two characters is equal to str dot I think substring would that be a good thing yeah substring of zero comma I want length minus two characters so there you go now I can add string without last two characters what we are trying to do here is actually split the problem into multiple things. Like what we want is, if we look at the string, the entire string should be uh, unchanged except for the last two characters. So what we are trying to do is find the last character, second last character, and the string without the last two characters as separate problems. So that's done. And then we are combining the solution for all the problems and putting it back. Let's just run the test and see if the first test succeeds. okay that's good so that's the first problem done uh, the next problem we are looking at truncating a in the first two positions so what should happen is if there is an a in the first two positions then it should be truncated uh, the rest of the string remains untouched so basically the problem is two parts one is first two positions there is a problem and the rest of the string so the rest of the string is untouched so i'll probably just write rest of string or str minus first two characters would be I think that's easy to find str dot substring of from two so that's simple problem to solve I think uh, getting the first two positions uh, if it's a then I have to replace so I'll say str first two cars uh, is str dot substring of zero comma two characters so that's done and now uh, I'm assuming that there are at least two characters so I have to handle the fact that str dot length is less than two uh, okay if it's less than two it's just two characters so I can replace this string and return it back so str dot replace all 
uh, I would want to replace A with empty. Uh, I'm actually, actually, I don't want. I'll just replace A itself here. A replaced. So f str dot substring dot replace all A with empty. So that's. Uh, we want to return back str first two characters a replaced plus str minus first two characters so that's basically what we want to return back I think that should work and I think anybody who looks at this piece of code now will be able to clearly understand what it's doing so if it's less than two then return back str dot replace otherwise get the first two characters and replace the value and then get the other character probably the one thing I can do is actually instead of this I can actually directly uh, inline that I mean that's fine I think it's not bad probably I can extract a variable as well so that should not be a problem um, yeah there you go let's see if this works okay that's good the second test also succeeds so let's now let's uh, get to the next problem uh, truncate first two characters except a b uh, uh, actually what I wanted to do in here is if the first character is a I have to leave it untouched if the second character is b I have to leave it untouched then the rest of the string should be uh, appended to the so now let's try and let's now look at the third problem which is truncate first two characters except a b the requirements for this are actually like if I have to truncate the first two characters except if either the first character is a then I have to leave it untouched if the second character is b I have to leave it untouched so uh, there are I can basically divide it into two three sub problems uh, let's get the first character Cal first cal is equal to str dot get cal hmm. str dot get cal at sorry str dot cal at uh, zero uh, second cal is str dot caret one and I can get the next rest of the string by doing str dot substring or zero that should not be a problem so, so substring of two um, what I want to be able to do is to append each of one of them to the string so let's create a string buffer I think string builder probably if I'm not worried about concurrency sb is equal to new string builder okay um, thing is if uh, first char is a what we want to be able to do is to append sp dot append first char That's our first requirement, I think. Sorry, it should be a character A. And let's look at the next one. If it's character B, append. Sorry, it should be second char. If second character is B, then we'll append B as well to the string. So, and then we can append. the rest of the string as well so there we go uh, that's I think the solution and I can then return as the dot to string okay obviously the uh, requirement that if it's uh, I have to handle the length one and length. if str dot length is zero 
then I have to return the string back as it is. Uh, if str dot okay, if str dot equals, I think if str dot length is one, then I can actually return. Uh, I have to use. I have to check what the character is. If str is equal to a, uh, then I have to return back so I can actually do that here if uh, str.length okay I can move this condition above and create the string builder here here I can check if str dot length is equal to one. I can actually return back sp dot two string. Just format this piece of code. Okay, that looks a little complicated. I think. Okay, well, let's. We now get the first character and probably now we can work on the second character as well if, if it's length 2 I don't think it should be a problem if we do a substring of 2 we could return empty back so that's good let's now run the test okay there we go everything succeeds so that's we can actually extract methods out of this to probably say append first cal to string if it's a and append second cal to b if it's a b because it's there's a lot of duplication in here but that's something for later today okay uh, i'll end this video here thanks for watching this series of videos bye we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share this video thanks for watching until next time